now to the snowiest city in our country, and that top honor goes to Worcester, Mass. So far this season, more than 91 inches of snow. I can't even picture that, but Dave Malkoff will show us. Dave, 91 inches of snow. Yeah, can you believe that? No. It's snowier than any other city with more than 100,000 people in the United States. This is it, Worcester, Mass. This You won't find anywhere snowier than this. And you're going to need more than a shovel to dig out. We headed out with a crew that was in some snow machines trying to get all this stuff out of here. I'm going to keep on digging while you take a ride with us in the snow plows. At hour 10 for these snowplow drivers, this shift and this winter will not stop. Hey Andy, how's it going? All right. This is a tight fit in here. What do I do? Close this? Yep. It's Andy does Rose's job to clear this shopping center. Oh, look at that. One chunk at a time. Seems like it's been uh, snowing every other day for about two weeks. We took a look nationwide at cities with 100,000 people or more. And at 90 inches plus this season, Worcester, Mass is now the nation's snowiest city. Yeah, as soon as you finish and you look back and you already have to do it again. Problem is, they're still pushing it away as fast as it's coming down heavy. This one truck can lift the weight of a four-ton truck and the volume of an average-sized bedroom. Still, that ain't enough. Now, of course, emergency vehicles need to be out in this most everyone else. Probably shouldn't be out unless they need to be. I'm Mike Keating, I'm the owner of Keating Enterprises Incorporated. Snowplow operation, obviously. Mike Keating runs a company with 10 plows and 10 loaders, plus a few rentals. And the worst thing are the people walking down the main street with the headphones on, which is just nuts. These last few weeks have dumped the most snow his company has plowed in 47 years. For Mike, this is a bigger job than the Great Blizzard of 1978. Then again, some of this technology and honestly, some of these drivers weren't around in 78. There's been an evolution of snowplow operations since 78. All Mike's horsepower and all Mike's men aren't enough to put Worcester back together again. Only the sun can do that. We gotta deal with the snow, we're gonna plow it, it's gonna melt eventually. So that's the way I look at things. Woo! Look at those guys go. That piece lasted a minute and 48 seconds, and it took me basically all this time to <laughs> cut out a square foot of snow. You can get right down in it, can't you? <laughs> Snowiest city in America right here, Sam. Worcester, Massachusetts. I'm going to build myself a snow fort. I'll see you in, in about half an hour or so. Dave Malkoff, uh, debuting, by the way, the uh, plow cam. Dave? Oh, there you are, <laughs> debuting the plow cam and a story like no one else can do. I don't care who you watch in the morning. You should watch us, if nothing else, than Dave Malkoff and his stories. All right, snow farms, vacant lots.